Okay. Today's topic, the start. <coughs> Today's topic is uh, um, refraction. Refraction or uh, in Bengali, prati sharon. Refraction or prati sharon. Okay. So, uh, first I am going to uh, diagram Buji. Let's try, try to understand the phenomena diagrammatically. So, suppose uh, this is our incident light. This is angle of incident. This is the medium 1 and this is the medium 2. And this is surface of separation. Surface of separation between the two media. Okay. AO is the incident light. AO is incident light. This is incident light. Apotitoloshi incident light. And angle AON, angle AOM is angle of incidence. Apatomkon. Angle of incidence. Manglai apatomkon. So after refraction, it goes to second medium. From first medium, it goes to second medium. Potho medium, the little medium. So then it goes to second medium. And this is say uh, B. So OB, this is refracted ray. Refracted ray. Or potisitoroshi. And angle B O N dash B O N dash is angle of refraction protisharon cone and this is uh, represented as R and this is actually R and this is actually I okay this is our introductory part now the introductory part okay now uh the suppose uh, this is actually rarer medium and this is actually denser media at a bang level a logumadho at a gonomadho that means light actually get a hood get refracted from Rarer to denser. The logo madam to the Ghana madam. That's why a you give che angle of R refraction angle less than incident angle. Poti sharan konda apaton konte ke choto hai. That means this refracted ray. Actually, this is the original direction, but it is ki holo thale ta. At a, at a bend color towards normal, it bends towards normal. Okay, when light refracted from realer to denser, it bends. This is normal, this is the original direction, but it bends towards normal. This is the original direction, but it bends towards normal. So, normal is the color of bends color. So, and even after the issue, I tell the angle of R refraction, angle of refraction is always less than angle of incidence. Okay. Reverse case is also possible. Reverse case means uh, light actually refracted, like the away from denser to rarer medium. Reverse case means light is refracted, like a refractor wave from potisita away from denser to rarer medium. For example, suppose this is actually denser medium and this is rarer medium and light A This is say now AO. This is N and this is N dash. Okay. Okay. Now uh, this is our eta holo amader. AO is an uh, AO is incident light at denser medium. Ghano madhame eta chapel taroshi. This is uh, angle of incidence. Apaton pole. Since this is from denser to rarer, so eta away from the normal. So, when it is original direction, it is 
but this is the original direction but it bends away from the normal but it bends away from the normal so it is along our angle of refraction so that is our angle of refraction we go on right a bosom j in this case for a denser to real eight and give a refraction higher thought on a ticket to the low who the refraction high angle of refraction is get at an angle of incidence so then in that case uh, angle of refraction is get at the angle of incidence okay now there is a law which is called snell's law snell's law apply uh we can uh amra snell's law okay we can uh understand snell's law by using any one of the diagram from these or these let's uh try to understand snell's law from this diagram okay remove this so uh snell's law which is called the second law of refraction which is very important law jeta alor proti shohore dikhi sutro boli second law of refraction which tells us that the sine of the angle of incidence mean sine of i and sine of the angle of refraction mean sine of i that means ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence and angle of refraction sin i by sin r which is a constant which is a constant one which is at a constant and that constant a constant are depend kore dutu jinish er upore depends on two factors number one color of light ta alor borno and number two the medium e dutu medium the two medium the two medium dutu madhyam e dutu medium je kono ekta medium ke change kore if you change any one of the two medium then also constant would be changed if any one of the uh, medium medium one or medium two is changed or both the medium change then the constant is also changed okay sin i by sin r is a constant one and that constant is even the constant a constant term of bully is uh, known as written as mu and this is called actual called is called refractive index refractive index poti sharank refractive index of what refractive index of the second medium second medium with respect to first medium this is actually refractive index poti sharank second medium with respect to the first medium with respect to first medium actually uh, this notation also uh, also also represent that the light actually uh, refracted from 1 to 2 okay 1 to 2 that actually refracted from 1 to 2 that means light is coming from 1 and after refraction it goes to 2 light is coming from 1 and after refraction it goes to 2 এক মাধ্যম থেকে আসছে ওয়ান মাধ্যম মিডিয়াম থেকে আসছে অ্যান্ড রিফ্রাকশনের পরে ওটা মিডিয়াম টুতে এন্ট্রি করেছে সো ওয়ান টু দ্যাট মিন্স দিস ইজ অলসো নোন অ্যাজ রিফ্রাকটিভ ইন্ডেক্স অফ সেকেন্ড মিডিয়াম সেকেন্ড মিডিয়াম উইথ রেসপেক্ট টু ফার্স্ট মিডিয়াম ওকে অ্যান্ড দিস ইজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি দ্য রিলেটিভ এটা আসলে relative refractive index this is actually relative refractive index it actually relative refractive index uh, of the second medium with respect to first it actually uh, second medium a relative refractive index with respect to the first now suppose um, suppose uh, um, suppose uh, medium one is er and dhorla number one medium ta er er jodi hoy then sin i by sin r sin i by sin r is nothing but mu 2 with respect to er that means ever light taken to er theke dui number medium e geche 
so here I'm gonna put G this is refractive index of uh, mu2 lithium madhyam refractive index with respect to air air are respected that means like a air to the number media mega G that means like a refracted from air to medium to room that is uh, also a refract index of the second media since this is actually with respect to air you get a air respect to measure for that's where the camera will change absolute refractive index of that all on what is wrong for one level g for on put this around go in ready to reach absolute refractive index up media to up medium to similarly 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 if suppose uh, this is the air and light is there this is angle i and this is medium this is medium one this is this medium is is here okay okay then light is refracted in this direction so this is our r okay again light actually refracted from air to medium one like the uh, air thinking medium water refraction below so again here sine i by sine r sine i by sine r is nothing but refractive index of the medium one with respect to air this is again light is refracted from air to one air to one that's why this is actually called refractive index of the first medium with respect to air that's why this is called absolute refractive index of medium one any refractive index of the medium with respect to air jekono refractive index medium with respect to air is called absolute ally of that medium okay so uh, this, these are the two uh, important this is actually our snell's law this is actually our snell's law okay and if uh, light actually uh, refracted from air to a particular medium then that refractive index is called absolute refractive index you like the air to a medium enter body that is a refractive index to come up with really that is called absolute refractive index of the medium okay so you are not a picture concept develop for our these are actually basic things to know the refraction to understand the refraction chapter very clearly you have to know this things okay now suppose I'm going to get into a uh, uh, basic definition actually what is the uh, refract absolute refractive index of the medium one that means with respect to air this is uh, nothing but uh, absolute ri of medium one with respect to air and there is another definition actually of that refractive index at a definition actually it all absolute polum putisharanko absolute refractive index because we measure karano apchi the refractive index with respect to air that's why this refractive index of the medium one is called absolute refractive index of the medium and the definition key definition this is actually definition of electromagnetic theory em theory of light em theory of light there is a definition of refractive index in EM theory of light, there is a definition of refractive index. What is that? The refractive index of any medium, that is absolute refractive index of any medium, is nothing but velocity of light in air or packing. Same. Dividing the velocity of light in that medium so we are going to calculate 
the, we are going to calculate the diffractive index of the medium one with respect to r. Then this would be c by v1. What is v1 is velocity of light in medium one. Okay. Similarly, uh, definition of absolute refractive index of the medium to medium to a Parom Putishranka definition that means with respect to yeah, then this is called uh, absolute refractive index. Nothing but velocity of light in air or vacuum divided by velocity of light in that medium that is called C by vector. Okay. Now if another definition this is called relative refractive index that means refractive index of the medium 2 with respect to 1. In that case it is it, since this attacky medium to a refractive index with respect to one therefore velocity of light in medium one by velocity of light in medium okay now here mu one with respect to air so in numerator velocity of light in air divided by velocity of light in that medium in medium in medium one in medium one now this is air mu two that means um, refractive index of the medium two with respect to air with respect to air just a velocity of light in air or vacuum divided by velocity of light in 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 medium two similarly uh, a c by v two Similarly, so this is C by V2. So this is our C by V2 writing here. Now this is our um, uh, refractive index of the medium 2 with respect to 1. Therefore, velocity of light in medium 1 and velocity of light in medium 2. Oh, and I got it. The logic. This is the uh, refractive index with respect to yeah, that's the velocity of light in here. Divided velocity of light in medium one. This is a velocity of refractive index with respect to air up to medium two. Therefore, it, since it is ref, with respect to air, therefore velocity of light in air in the denominator and uh, numerator divided divided by velocity of light in the medium two. Okay. Now it is a refractive index of the medium two with respect to one. That's a, a velocity of light in medium one in the numerator and the velocity of light in the medium two in the denominator. And it is uh, given as what you know. In medium one, velocity of light is uh, is v one. This is the velocity of light in medium one, and uh, velocity of light in medium two. Medium two is v two, and this is our v one by v two. So mu two with respect to one is nothing but v one by v two. Now what we get? Just manipulate this thing. What is v one by v two? Now writing this some a different way writing this expression in some different way let's check v1 by v2 is nothing but c by v2 divided by c by v1 and what is c by v2 c by v2 is nothing but er mu2 nothing but mu2 with respect to er divided by mu1 with respect to er mu2 with respect to er divided by mu1 with respect to er okay then what do you get we get we get the result this mu2 with respect to 1 is nothing but mu2 with respect to er mu1 with respect to er that means refractive index of the medium 2 with respect to medium 1 is nothing but refractive index of the medium 2 that means absolute refractive index of the medium 2 divided by absolute refractive index of the medium 1 
So relative refractive index is nothing but ratio of the absolute refractive index. And this is a very important uh, formula. Okay, we can uh, easily uh, uh, okay one example I can uh, I can do from here. Uh, you see uh, mu g mu g. This is actually uh, uh, absolute refractive index of the class with respect to ER. That means this is actually the absolute refractive index of the glass. And sometimes this ER is not written here. It means this is actually refractive index of the class with respect to ER, and sometimes ER is not written. So mu g is 3 by 2, that means refractive index of the glass with respect to ER is 3 by 2 and mu water means refractive index of the water with respect to air that means absolute refractive index of the water is again 4 by 3. So uh, two data is given one is uh, absolute refractive index of the glass another is absolute refractive index of water. Now you are uh, now uh, the question is what is the refractive index of the glass with respect to what that means absolute ri is given this is absolute ri absolute ri of glass this is absolute ri of water now uh, the question is what is relative refractive index refractive index relative refractive index of what relative refractive index of glass with respect to with respect to water okay so the question is you have to determine mu g with respect to mu, mu g with respect to water that means your relative refractive index of glass with respect to water and uh, we have already determined this is nothing but mu g by mu water since this is mu g with respect to water so in numerator you have to write down the absolute array of glass and in denominator you have to write the absolute array of water and this is your 3 by 2 and this is your 4 by 3 and it is becomes 9 by 8 so mu g with respect to water is 9 by 8 so one more thing you have to understand that what is refractive index of glass sometimes this question is asked what is refractive index of the glass then your answer would be not a perfect one because the question is not a perfect question why because mu g with respect to ER is 3 by 2 current mu g glasser mu with respect to ER is 3 by 2 and glasser mu with respect to water is 9 by 8 so whenever your question is asked what is the what is the refractive index of the glass then you should also you should also mention with respect to which the refractive index of the class is to be determined with respect to which medium the refractive index of the class is to be determined means here uh, mu g with respect to air is 3 by 2 and mu g with respect to water is 9 by 8 that that means when jokhon medium change korche Sometimes in the first case, this is air, so mu g is 3 by 2, or in the second case, this, this is water, then value change, the value is change. Okay, so these are the two important concepts. Next thing, next. Suppose uh, this is our uh, medium one and this is our medium two this is our angle of incidence i and this is our this is angle of incidence i and this is our oh, oh, one minute this is our angle of incidence i and this is our angle of Refraction. This is our angle of this is the diffracted ray and this is Potishadan called angle of refraction. And you know uh, from Snell's law sine i by 
sign ah is nothing but since light goes from 1 to 2 from 1 to 2 jehetu light ta 1 theke 2 medium e jacche since light goes from 1 to 2 so this is nil 2 with respect to 1 okay now if you place a mirror plane mirror am diye ekhane ekta plane mirror place kore di then what would happen the light reflected back reflected back and in this case angle of incidence is sin r and refraction is sin i and this is nothing but now light goes from 2 to 1 therefore light in 1 with respect to 2 because light goes from 2 to 1 in the first case light goes from 1 to 2 and the second case light goes from to 1 now if you multiply i'm going to multiply kuni e dutu ke 1 and 2 ke then what it get sin i by sin r into sin r by sin i is nothing but new to 1 into new 1 to this cancel that means new 2 with respect to 1 is 1 by new 1 with respect to 2 Okay, nah? mm. So mu two with respect to one is one by mu one with respect to two. For example, for example, just I'm doing in the previous, just in the previous section, I've done this. Mu g is three by two. Mu water is four by three. Then what is mu g with respect to mu water it's nothing but mu g mu water which is 3 by 2 and this is 4 by 3 and this is 9 by 8 that means mu g with respect to water is 9 by 8 then what is mu water with respect to g then what is mu water with respect to g mu 2 with respect to 1 is 1 by mu 1 with respect to 2 that means this is nothing but 1 by mu g with respect to water. So it is nothing but 1 by 9 by 8. So this is actually 8 by 9. Okay. So it's very simple. Okay. One more thing. These all things are very important. Try to understand. Try to watch the video repeatedly so that you can understand or do the problems. If you once understand this concept, then you can do the problems by yourself. At first, before doing the problems, you go through the pro you go through the theory very carefully, try to understand. Then you try to solve the problems. Next topic. Next topic is uh, two refraction. Due to refraction, okay. This is medium A. This is medium B. So light is here. Incident by this angle I1 from this is R1 okay so sin I1 by sin R1 is nothing but mu B with respect to A this is our separating medium it a separating surface between it actually a separating surface this is a separating surface between medium a and b say this is medium b say this is our medium b plus this is our medium b complete and again there is a medium b so two refraction you cannot refraction follow so there are two refraction first from a to b then from b to a the light is pointed like the ripple so this is our r2 then this would be our i2 okay try to understand very carefully first First PQ in medium A 
angular density is I1, then QR is a refracted ray in the medium B, and this is our angle of diffraction. Again, at this surface of separation, AG, AG, AG surface of separation, this is between B2, B and A, this surface of separation is between B and A, is between B and A. रिफ्रैक्शन Angle of incidence of Paton Konoche sine of R2 or Potishan Konoche sine of I2. That is nothing but a Paton Kon sine of R2, Potishan Kon sine of I2, and nothing but is mu A with respect to B. Light is actually from B to A. That's why A with respect to B means light is actually. Refracted from B to A. Okay. Now, since this is nothing but one by AB. Okay, this is nothing but one by AB. So from that, therefore, mu B A is nothing but sine of I two. Sign of okay now one by this is this so this it goes up then it will reverse sin i2 by sin of r2 so this is equation one and this is equation two and in both the equation this is a mu b and this is a mu b so equating these two terms sin i1 by sin r1 is nothing but sin I two by sine r two. Now these two surface, these two surface are parallel. This is our first condition. If this AB and CD. Are parallel. Let me see if A B parallel. See, this is our first condition, and second condition is first medium. And last medium. Are same. A condition ki hoche. नर्मल Angle R1 and R2, therefore, angle R1 is equal to R2, therefore, sin R1 is equal to sin of R2, therefore, sin I1 is equal to, therefore, sin of I1 is equal to sin of I2, therefore, I1 is equal to I2, therefore, I1 is equal to I2, therefore, I1 is equal to I2. Since I1 is equal to I2, It will these angles and these angles are equal. Then 
this PQ and if PQ and this is RS then that PQ and RS since these two angles are equal then that PQ and RS should be parallel then that PQ and RS should be parallel therefore PQ and RS should be parallel Tale, PQ and RS take you here no? parallel here no? Tale, key holo? Atai holo? Je, direction of the light light direct, direction the key holo? change kolo na kanto ekhane light ta direction e dikhe dhuklo pole bend holo bend e abar jokhon perlo tokhon light ta kintu edikei jacche means just jayga ta change kolo means eta je original rasta holo eta chilo eta chilo edike ekhon ki hocche edikei ache ar jeta holo just rasta ta change kolo mane means so displace holo ektu edike shore gelo but movement ta direction to edikei ache so say there is no uh, deviation produced due to this kind of reflection but uh, shift lateral shift pasio poribartan or lateral shift is occurred there is no deviation produced by this kind of refraction either any refraction on the refraction the the two surfaces are parallel and this medium and this medium are same at such a condition this refraction is general a property to maintain curve key property the these two surfaces are parallel and this medium and this medium are same only then key dekhte parche the light a direction ta kintu change korlo na just rasta ta ektu eta chilo ekhan theke shift korlo shift korlo this is lateral shift and that lateral shift is is given by say r T R this is S this is T this is a, a B C D E okay there is a shift there is a lateral shift that is actually try to actually original uh, original uh, path is in this direction but due to refraction it actually shift from this line to this line keeping its direction same then what would be our lateral shift that means some of the calculate with them we have to find out this amount of rt is how much how many rt take and bear put the away so we have to find out this rt this uh, rt uh, we have to find out this rt this uh, thickness of this medium is given say t and the uh, refractive index of that medium is say mu okay this is refractive index that medium is mu and say consider this is our here for simplicity and this is also here okay now we are, we are going to calculate this value of rt first what is the value of angle r q t r q t a angle ta koto very simple this is i1 since this is i1 then this is also i1 Hypothetical, vertically mm, opposite angle. Then this should be our I one minus R one. Okay, na I one minus R one. Again, I repeat. Since this is I one, then this is also R I one because this angle and this angle are vertically hypothetical, vertically opposite angle. So that angle R Q T now means this much. This much is nothing but total minus R1. So I1 minus R1. Okay. Now R T by Q R is this is height and this is hypotenuse. The Uchata this is sin of 2 sin of 
जी जाएंगे आर के टी सो आर टी दिस एंगल इज एक्चुअली आर टू दिस इज आवर दिस इज आवर आर टू ओके दिस इज आवर आर टू दिस इज आवर आर टू ओके एंगल आर क्यू टी इज आई वन माइनस आर वन नाउ फ्रॉम द ट्राइंगल आर क्यू टी फ्रॉम द ट्राइंगल आर क्यू टी sin i1 minus r1 okay what is qr now what is qr now from the triangle r q e r e q r from the triangle e q r e q r q e by q r is nothing but q e by q r this is base This is hypotenuse, bhumi, atibuj, nothing but cos r1. Now what is qr? Therefore qr is nothing but qe by cos r1. So putting this value of qr over here, so rt is nothing but qe by cos r1 and to sign i1 minus r1 and to sign i1 minus r1 okay now doing some calculations on the right hand side so rt is nothing but qe what is qe qe is t so t By cos r1 and sine of a minus b, sine a cos b minus cos of a, sine of b. Okay, so t sine i1 cos r1 by cos r1 minus Cos i1 sin r1 by cos r1. Okay, cancel cos r1, cos r1 for the first term. Uh, from the first term, so cancel cos r1, cos r1. So get t sin of i1 minus cos of i1 sin r1 by cos r1 means to bar 1 minus sin square r1 okay now coming here The refraction at the first surface sine of i1 angle of incidence and this is angle of refraction sine of r1 is nothing but this is actually mu this medium with respect to air that means this is actually the absolute refractive index of that medium since I actually, they do like the refract portion from here to that medium. It may be glass at a glass at a body from here to that medium. So, sin i one by sin r one, a value to follow a medium is absolute refractive index 
means mu okay so sin r1 is sin i1 by mu okay sin r1 is sin i1 by mu therefore 1 minus sin square r1 1 minus sin square i1 by mu square that means mu square minus sin square i1 by mu square therefore root over of 1 minus sin square r1 is root over of mu square minus root over of therefore root over root over 1 minus sin square r1 is nothing but root over mu square minus sin square i1 by mu so putting these two values one is sin r1 another is this value this in this equation we get t sin i1 minus cos i1 sin of r1 divided by mu because sin r1 is sin i1 by mu so sin i1 by mu and this is actually this lower mu square minus sin square i1 by mu then that mu becomes in the numerator then that mu comes in a numerator and that mu and mu cancel out so oh what is this this is a our uh, sin r1 sin r1 is sin i1 by mu so rt now becomes again i clear this portion rt now becomes rt what t taking sin i1 common means outside sin i1 cos i1 sorry 1 minus cos i1 lower mu square minus sin square i1 that is our rt and this is our lateral shift okay so very it's not complicated but you must have some patience when solving this problem so rt now becomes shift t sin i1 1 minus cos i1 rho mu square minus sin square i1 so to find out the shift you have to know only the mu of that medium angle of incidence and thickness of the medium these three things you don't need that this angle or this is r2 actually this is r2 this is r2 and i2 you don't need this r2 and I2 because r2 is equal to r1 i2 is equal to i1 so r2 is equal to r1 i2 is equal to i1 so you don't need r1 you only need i1 you only need angle of incidence the mu of the medium and the thickness of the medium these three parameters if you want to know this three uh, value then you can easily calculate the lateral shift that is occurred during this kind of uh, refraction either in a refraction you get a quarter shift of a shift up means like the area so you have to do that you have to do that ship to follow a ship to follow a party you can easily calculate if you want to know the value of t thickness 
to the medium, the angle of incidence I1, and then lastly, the refractive index of the medium. Okay. We have already determined, we have already determined the formula that mu2 with respect to 1 is nothing but the mu2 by mu1. That means the relative apekhik patisharamko is nothing but the ratio of the absolute refractive index. Relative refractive index is nothing but the ratio of absolute refractive refractive index. Adamra kichibunagi calculate kolam, but from we are using uh, at that time electromagnetic theory of light. Light a turichumuki totto is curricula. Now I am going to use Snell's law. Amra Snell's law the agent step in to call home. Okay. So for that what I need amader tinta medium like that. This is medium A, this is medium B, this is medium C and this is again medium A. So one, two, three, four in that hermode first medium and last medium are same. Okay. Uh, Arata one more thing is that so potum case first medium and last medium are same. First medium and last medium are same. So the first condition, first medium and last medium are same. A second condition is that the separating medium is parallel. If you say that it is parallel, it is parallel. Okay? Now, what do you like to suppose like that? What do you like to suppose? So this is normal, this is I1, then like take here. Suppose this is denser medium, this is rarer, this is denser, so like take here to bend So this is R1, R1, okay. Again, you draw a normal over here. Since these two are parallel, JK to the parallel types, therefore these normals are also parallel. Since it is a normal parallel, so it can be R1 high, and this is also R1. This is also R1. Okay, R1 holo. Where do you like to our uh, refract holo? Anything? Say this is R2, R2 high. Okay. R2 since these are two again I'm keeping a normal draw column. Normal draw column, it's a normal draw column. Again, I'm keeping cheap since these are two pair, lunch, editor separation, separating medium to parallel. These are parallel, they are normal or also parallel. It is normal parallel, like you check the R2 high, then again, this is R2. It's a R2 high. And lastly, you will show last day. A medium or a medium same and these and these are parallel since this medium this medium is same and these and these are parallel therefore this light and the final light should be parallel should be parallel that means this angle a angle the power i1 how last jeta column according to that last what you have done according to that that this refracted angle a the position conta position conta at the last medium is also equal to the angle of incidence at the first medium because this light and this light should be parallel since these two medium are same and these are parallel since these two are parallel and these two mediums are same therefore this light and this light should be parallel that means this angle and this angle should be equal it's a very important so when uh, refraction and from a to b from a to b refraction from a to b from this to this sine i1 by sine of r1 is nothing but mu b with respect to a next refraction from b to c from this to this sine of 
angle of incidence is r1 and from b angle of incidence is r1 and angle of diffraction is r2 is nothing but b2c b to c b to c c with respect to b and lastly from c to a lastly at this point from c to a first refraction at this point from a to b second refraction at this point from b to c and third refraction at this point from c to a okay from c to a from c to a sine of r2 oh, okay from c to a sine of r2 by sine of I1 is nothing but mu C to A, A with respect to C. Okay. So, what do you get? We have three equations. This is equation number one, this is equation number two, and this is equation number three. So, multiply these three equations. Just multiply these three equations. So, sine of I1 by sine of R1 into sine of r1 by sine of r2 into sine of r2 by sine of i1 is nothing but mu b with respect to a into mu c with respect to b into mu a with respect to c okay now with that you see this 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 cancel this this cancel this this cancel the whole term becomes one that means mu c with respect to b is equal to one by mu b with respect to a to mu a with respect to c and you can write this thing as mu c with respect to a this is mu a with respect to c so one sense 1 by mu a with respect to c is nothing but mu c with respect to a. using this concept so this denominator comes to numerator with mu c with respect to a and this is our mu b with respect to a so what is b mu c b mu c is nothing but mu c with respect to a divided by mu b with respect to a so what is our so what is our b mu c so b mu c is nothing but mu c with respect to a so what is our b mu c so b mu c mu c what is mu c with respect to b is nothing but mu c with respect to a mu b with respect to a okay okay now if the first medium and last medium uh, first medium a medium if a is actually you can say a is here if a is here then mu c with respect to b is nothing but mu c with respect to here mu b with respect to here that is called actually the absolute refractive index of the medium c absolute refractive index of the medium b and here is not written is not written means it, it is actually with respect to here so b mu c b mu c money money hello mu c with respect to b is nothing but rather relative refractive index c a refractive index with respect to b is nothing but c a absolute ri and b a absolute ri because with respect to here the ri is called absolute so b mu c is nothing but so b mu c means mu c with respect to b is nothing but absolute mu c absolute mu b and this is proved according to Snell's law okay this is one more thing now another thing and this is our last topic of our today's class this is the last topic of our today's class is suppose this is medium 1 this is medium 2 this is i1 and this is say r1 i1 r1 so sine i1 by sine r1 is nothing but mu 2 with respect to 1 it's nothing but mu 2 by mu 1 now suppose if we say r1 is equal to 
R1 is say I2. You present I1, R1 as I2. We represent R1 as I2. Then it becomes sine I1, becomes sine I1 by sine of I2 is nothing but mu2 by mu1. Therefore, mu1 sine of I1 is equal to mu2 sine I2. This is actually general form of Snell's law. Mu1 sine I1 means sine of I1 into refractive index of that medium is equal to sine of I2 into refractive index of the second medium. If there are uh, successive uh, n numbers of medium, then mu1 sin i1 is equal to mu2 sin i2 is equal to mu3 sin i3 is equal to mu4 sin i4. Okay, so this is actually general form of sense law. Okay, only we have to understand these things for the today's class. Next day, I will do some more um, calculations on refraction. First, try to watch the video, then in my live class, I will solve some numericals okay the word but before doing the numericals students you have to understand this theory thoroughly okay try to understand the theory if you can't understand they can ask, then you can ask me any questions regarding on the topics which i have just uh, give uh, uh, from today's class uh, if you have any kind of questions any kind of doubts you can ask in my live class to my live class eh? Session is a topic guru. Do you like to follow along? There will be no doubt. Okay, you can ask me on my live class. Okay, till then.